Here's how to upgrade the firmware on your Pixel board. First thing we need to do is give it power. Then let's pop off the Bluetooth dongle and we're going to put it into USB mode. And if you look closely on the board on the left here, it says host and on the right it says device. So device means USB mode. So let's go ahead and flip the switch to device. And then we're going to take that special cable that came with the kit. It's called a USB A to A cable. And hopefully you didn't lose it, but if you did, it's okay. You can still get them. They're just not as easy to get. And uh, it just has two connectors that look just like this on both sides of the cable. So A to A. So one end of this, let's plug into our PC or Mac. And the other end, we're gonna plug into the board. And now from your PC, let's go to Google and just type in YoYo Wiki. And we're going to the YoYo page. Let's just go straight to downloads. Because the Pixel board is a variation of the open source YoYo platform. It's just a custom YoYo board that happens to be optimized for driving an LED matrix. So let's go over here and let's get the YoYo Dude application. Uh, that will download it, and that's what we're going to need to upgrade our firmware. So take this and then just copy it somewhere. In my case, I've already put it into a, a directory right here. Now, if we click this link, this will take us directly to the YoYo Dude instructions page. And this basically tells you everything you need to know on, on how to run it. So you can look at this at your leisure. For now, I'll just step you through it. And look for a part of the page called Finding the Port. And what we want to do here is we want to first verify that your PC has recognized the board, the Pixel board. So depending on which OS you're on, you can see here what you need to do. In my case, I'm on a Mac right now, so I'm going to pop open a command line and type in this command. And I can see here that it's found the board. So I'll, I'll make a note of that address because I'm going to need that when I do the firmware download. If you happen to be on Mac or Linux, there is one extra step you need to do, which is to make the YoYo Dude application executable. So let's issue that command right now. And then let's test. Let's make sure we can run it. Okay, looks good so far. And then if we want, just for fun, we can issue a command to find out the current version of the firmware we have. And remember, this was the, the address of the pixel board that we found out earlier. And I can see here the version that we have right now. Now, before we can upload the actual firmware, we need to first put the board into bootloader mode. So to do that, follow these steps. First, unplug the power. And then hold down, there's a push button right here. Go ahead and hold that down with your thumb. Uh, make sure you're still holding it down. Then plug the power back in. And you'll see there's a little green light that comes on right here. Go ahead and now take your thumb off the button and we'll see that green light flash briefly. That tells us that now the board is in bootloader mode. Now with our board in bootloader mode, let's, actually, let's issue the actual command. Same port as last time. We want to do a reset upon uploading of the new firmware. And then I also need to give it the actual name of the firmware upgrade itself, which in this example is this file. But of course, you would replace that with the new firmware that you've downloaded uh, from the site. And there you have it. And then again, we can also do a check and just double check that we've got the right firmware now uploaded. So let's just check the version just for fun. And there we go.